Hi and welcome back to Today We Review and today we're going to be reviewing the SanDisk Clip Sport Plus wearable mp3 player 16 gigabyte. Now you're going to be wondering why exactly would I get a brand new mp3 player? Well it's not the first time I've got an mp3 player. I've actually had a wide variety of very odd and interesting mp3 players in the past and there's more. And there's a lot more that I can find. Um, but I actually really enjoy the, I guess you could say, the separation between a phone and an MP3 player. Just, you know, this is just basically the MP3 player and that's it. So, you know, I, I like it. Um, so today we're going to look at the overview of the item, check it out how it is. And then we're going to look into more of the actual details inside. And then I'll give my personal uh opinion on it as well so let's get started so as i mentioned this one's a bit different um uh, compared to others as well this is a 16 gigabyte it is bluetooth and it is a water resistant so you know the box is actually really small and the item itself is extremely small i mean you're talking about maybe two inches high um so the box does state right here minimum system requirements you know it is a windows vista and all that stuff as well so here's the important part that it does have it does um it is no drm and of course you know drm free itunes as well so everything else is basically just uh the usual stuff and of course in the back you know we have a couple of different items and it says you know it has fm radio uh stopwatch uh, water assistant and then that section bluetooth and up to 20 hours battery life so let's go ahead and oh and on the side it tells you what it comes with so let's go ahead and take a look at what we have here so a funny story is that this is not the first one that I actually have. I already previously owned one, which is over here. The issue was that that's one thing that I, I wanted to uh, review about as well, is that this darn MP3 player, for whatever reason, does not want to work with all the wide variety of cables that I have. And I mean, I got cables for miles you know, different kind of cables, the ones that came for from the phones and stuff. So I bought this guy for like five bucks at a thrift store. And, you know, it worked. It was amazing. I just couldn't, for whatever reason, get the music on it. And uh, I kept searching the website and everything else, and I couldn't find anything. So I had a look on Best Buy to order one of these guys to find out that it actually only works, apparently, with the cable that's in here. Right? But then I found amongst all the different cables that I have, one particular cable that does work with it. And the actual packaging said uh, USB data cable. So just to let you know, if you do find one of these uh, at a thrift store or thrift shop or anything, you know, keep an eye out and try and see if you can find an appropriate cable. Because even the cables that were for phones didn't apparently work. But... Uh, moving on to this part right here. So we do have three main items that we are receiving here. Of course, we have the MP3 player. This one's actually kind of nice. And uh, the reason I really enjoyed it or enjoy it still is that it has a clip. Uh, as you could tell, the sections here are covered for waterproof. However, you can actually see a small gap right there. So I don't know how much of this is actually really considered waterproof. But, you know, it still does a good job. Um, so the front is rubber. It's a nice feel to it. The side has rubber texture as well. So for grip, uh, the sections here, the micro is micro USB port is covered by, uh, it covered as well. And of course the auxiliary port has that cover. So it has two main sections and of course your, uh, volume up and down. It does come with its own USB data cable and of course the headphones as well. They're not like fancy or anything. It's just regular kind of headphones that come with them so um, in the boxes of course we also have the user manual and the interesting thing about this one is that it's not very long it just does you four steps you know charging uh, transferring optional how to connect and then of course the clip um, information as well to what exactly it is and this is important because navigating through this mp3 player is a little odd so let's go ahead and get uh, this guy up and running and I do have my other one that I've already uploaded some music to it so let's go ahead and get started 
So to start off, you just have to push down the middle button right here. And that's basically the on and off as well. So kind of easy. Um, you know, to start off, not bad. It actually has a good screen. Uh, it is a lot brighter than the older version, as you could tell. But that's probably still just moving some uh, settings. So let's go ahead and take a look at what this guy offers. So we do have a folders menu, which is kind of like your directory for the MP3 player. We have the MP, uh, I'm sorry, the Bluetooth version, uh, sport, uh, stopwatch, uh, settings as well, the music, radio, and books as well. And now I am going to mention that when navigating through these items here, you do have to use a back and forth. Um, so these guys to go inside one of them, you just have to click the middle button and navigating up and down, of course, is going up and down. So here's where you see this guy right here. This is kind of sending you either to the main menu, as you can see. But if you go right here and you want to go back, you actually click the back button here and it takes you to the previous menu instead of having to go to the root menu over here. So it, that's, that's important because it took me a while and it's kind of a headache having to go through every single one of them. And they're like, ah, oh, I missed it and everything. But uh, they do have a good amount of uh, things here. So, of course, you know, you could add some music. Um, the FM radio works. Now, you do have to have um, headphones on because the headphones are going to be basically putting them as the antenna. Um, and, of course, books. Uh, it would be considered audiobooks or podcast. There we go. Audiobooks or podcast. Um and then, of course, the main folder, the Bluetooth and sports watch. You do have stopwatch, timer, safe logs, and things like that. And then, of course, inside the settings, you have uh, system settings. You have um, music options, radio options. And then in the music, you have this. So I'm going to go ahead and take a look at this one that's already been pre-programmed with some music and stuff. Um, so... To access the music, you go ahead and click in here. And of course, you have different things. So you do have shuffle, artists, albums, songs, playlist, and that's it. It is a pain in the butt. I'm not going to lie to either put them inside the playlist and uh, have the separations between songs, albums, and things like that. The main method of this is basically drag and drop. So you open, you connect your uh, USB cable, wherever I have it here. Connect your USB cable to the computer, basically one in here, one into the other one, and just open the File Explorer page, uh, File Explorer, and then just drag and drop your items. Now, here's the issue, is that if you currently have, um, I guess you, I, I want to say if you currently have music uh, on your computer that doesn't have I guess the titles already, that's where you're going to have some issues because, take for example, here, Unknown Artist, it doesn't recognize it, even though, oddly enough, on my side, it does have the name of the album, but it doesn't have the names for the song, so it's not going to recognize it. I don't understand why. Um, but, as you can tell, it goes there. However, if the songs already have either are downloaded from a CD directly where it already has the names and then you transfer them on here, then it will work. Or if you already have pre-saved music on your computer and you're going to do drag and drop, it works as well. So, for example, you know, we do have um, Antester, right? Um, you do see the different albums as well here. And if I click on this one, you do see the names. So that's the important thing that you do have to make sure already. It's a headache because I changed on my side. I, I connected this part right here and then I plugged it in and I tried to change the name directly on the file explorer page for this and it still kind of didn't really update it on here so it's a little weird that that itself is weird um, but here's the other thing that I thought was very interesting is that the mp3 uh, not the mp3 the bluetooth works quite well uh, so I just go over here to bluetooth and I'll go ahead and turn it on but this is actually the blue audio uh, headphone set that I reviewed last time as well as you can tell, it's very, it's gone very old. But the reason I wanted to bring this guy up in particular is because this one has software that's older than what the new ones actually adapt to. So this is a new version right here. 
and as you can tell there are no issues between the old and the new one and all you really have to do is let me go ahead and get this guy so you do you do have to make sure to previously connect it so we go in here and we're just going to go to search and wherever your bluetooth headset's at you just have to turn it on and of course Make sure that your Bluetooth headset is placed on search mode. So when you're searching it here, you just press the middle button and you're ready to go. And of course, since we already have it, we just have to go ahead and select our Bluetooth audio. And there you go. And as you could tell, it changes color from white to blue. So we're good. Now, here's one thing that I thought was kind of fascinating. Was, and that said, whatever menu you're at, if you're already playing music, you just have to click the back button, the main back button and it'll take you to the music page. So let's, let me show you really quick. So we're in here, right? And we're gonna play some music. Uh, just for, you know, the first one. So it's already playing it. And of course you could, uh, aside from controlling the volume on your uh, Bluetooth wireless headset, you can also control the volume here. So, you know, it does a good job. There you go. So let's say that's already playing and you want to navigate to some other files. So you're just going to hit back and oh, I want to see, you know, how fast I'm running. So we click here, right? And we enter in the stopwatch. Well, all we have to do is click this guy. And there you go. It sends you to the main page of the music. So it kind of does a quick setting back to wherever you're at. And that's actually kind of convenient in terms of, hey, you know, instead of having to go through each single one of them, you know, just click back and you're there. So that's awesome. Let me go ahead and turn off the Bluetooth. So a quick thing that I completely forgot to mention was that when turning on and off the Bluetooth, you do have to turn on here and then it turns it on. And then, of course, it searches and everything. What I actually had right now was it was already on. Um, and of course, I just have to turn it back off and it's ready to go. All right, so final comments, final opinions on this. What is it? Is it good? Does it go well? Yeah, you know, it's it's a great MP3 player. Um, I really enjoy that after using it. It, uh, it does have, I guess, pros and cons. So the pros is it is water resistant, but not like submersive. It's more of like splashes. It's not gonna cause any issues, especially because the top section right here is rubberized. So that's awesome. Uh, it comes with a clip. So you can clip it anywhere and it's super lightweight. I mean, put it in your pocket when you're when you're running or in your hand and you don't have to worry about it. That's one thing that I really wanted to get this version. Um, and of course, there's one more that I've been wanting to get, which is uh, RCA, San, uh, RCA USB MP3 player, which is a USB, a USB port with uh, controls for music. That's one thing that I really want to get because it's a lot smaller and it's basically plug and play. Compared to these that are basically uh, connecting cables and all that stuff. But this one comes with MP with uh, Bluetooth, I'm sorry, uh, compared to the other one that doesn't. So you got to weigh your options. But uh, pros and cons, like I mentioned, the pros is that it does have that uh, seal, so you're good. Um, it has a nice rubberized texture here as well. It does also have uh, a, I want to say, a lock button. So by holding this section right here. It locks it so if by any chance you're moving anywhere you don't have to worry about it uh, unlocking and of course you can unlock it directly there it does have uh, auto shut off you can also program it depending on what you want it it is nice that it comes with uh, the aux port and of course bluetooth port along with um, the seals to cover it and they're pretty good uh size wise like i said it's about two inches it does a really nice job conveniently to just put in your pocket you're set to go and ready to go downsides i will say the screen is pretty delicate it scratches kind of quick um you don't really have to do much to basically put it on or scratch it so that's the downside um maneuvering through it adding music is very easy the only thing is that like i had mentioned previously you do have to kind of navigate through that whole process of music wise what kind of music if it already has names and things like that um but that's it that's mainly the cons in it that i i could tell more of like the software within it 
it's good it's responsive it does a good job um mostly exterior with the screen that does scratch up now here's the downside is that if you were to drop it at a certain angle it will crack and you know you won't be able to see but the, the actual buttons work really well here's a fascinating thing that i actually learned with this one is that if you were to open it you actually will find a micro micro sd card in here because it's sand disk and basically they're not using flash memory they're using an actual uh, sd card inside of here there's a video that I'll, I'll connect to this right here where there's a guy who actually took this off and um took the 16 or 32 whatever which one this in this case it's 16 and put 128 hey that's awesome you know am i gonna do that uh ooh, i'll see i mean uh i mostly want to use this for when i'm out running uh, exercising which I don't but you know for handy dandy style um, of course I still use my phone heavily for Pandora you know music and things like that so it differs but I do like that like I'd mentioned the idea of the separation between them so I could leave my phone somewhere and just carry this and not have to worry about you know using the battery on the phone versus this one as well and the battery lasts a really long time on this it says about 20 hours and I'm not gonna lie uh, charge it once and you know kind of set it and forget it it lasts a good amount of while it, of course it depends on your usage as well and what you're doing so you know um, I recommend it if you want to if you're looking for something you know as an mp3 player for exercising things like that you don't have to worry about sweat price wise that's one thing that I don't like um, originally this thing runs for $50 you know uh, that's kind of expensive in terms of the different arrays of mp3 players that are out there the rca one is like twenty dollars so it's not you know huge, it, it's a huge difference um from it um this one i did get get it on sale for like forty dollars so it was like cheaper this one i got it at thrift store no this one i got it at thrift store and this one i got it brand new but the thrift store one was five dollars so you know it's awesome just like i'd mentioned that's oh there we go that's the downside is that it requires specific data cables for it um so just be aware that whenever you're going to be getting a used one that you have to, you find one a usb cable that actually works with it because if not like i said you have to either buy a whole brand new one for the cable or something but luckily i did find one usb cable that i already had if not i would have had to use this guy but yeah that's it so i you know hopefully this helped you in whatever shape or form you know whatever it is but I'm glad you uh, stopped by to see this video. And like I said, if you have any questions or any kind of comments or concerns, I'm here. Just go ahead and put your comments at the bottom. And I'll try and, I guess, reply to them as soon as I can. So with uh, that, well, saying that, you know, I want to send you guys a lot of love and kisses. Hope you all have a wonderful day. Oops, I'm so sorry. Hope you all have a wonderful day. And um, see you next time.